This is how the coronavirus spread throughout Europe since the beginning of January. So you can see here the dates. Uh, here we're in January 27, and you can see that most of Europe is green. But now let's start playing to see what happens. At the beginning of February, there's a few cases, and then we're here now at the beginning of March, right? And you can see a few cases throughout Europe, but not a lot. In fact, there's many more than we think. The problem is we don't have a lot of testing to be able to tell. And so suddenly, at the beginning of March, boom, you can see here in northern Italy the beginning of the massive outbreak that they had. You can see here in Spain also the beginning in La Rioja, the outbreak that's soon going to happen. Suddenly, boom, 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 boom. By the end of March, you already have a massive amount of cases in Northern Italy and Spain. And now you have Belgium here going strong and it's going to start spreading across all the countries right around them. By the beginning of April, here you have cases nearly everywhere. But uh, around March 15th to March 22nd, most European countries have applied a hammer. They've locked down. People are staying home, businesses are closed, and it takes around two weeks for that caseload to stop going up and start going down. And those two weeks uh, uh, pass around the beginning of April, and you can see now that as April passes, cases are going down and down and down everywhere in Europe. Well, not everywhere, because in Sweden, they are still going up, and you will be seeing these cases going up and up and up and up throughout April, May, June, and they only start stopping as the summer is really intense there, as people are leaving Sweden, as they are going home uh, to their secondary homes. Here, something key happens. On July 1st, Europe opens its borders between the countries. Europe at this point has not applied any measure uh, beyond hammers. There's very little testing, contact tracing, isolations, quarantines, reductions in contagiousness. All these people who are not taking the right protections are going to be circulating throughout Europe. And you can see here in the Balkans and in northeast Spain, suddenly, boom, you have outbreaks. And you can see by uh, the end of June, you have here the region of Aragon and now also the regions of Catalonia, Basque Country, Navarra, here with an outbreak and the Balkans in Romania have a brewing uh, outbreak here and you can see as August passes that is going down through Spain it's spreading and here in the Balkans it's spreading and spreading and spreading and so you end up suddenly boom it has been spreading from Spain to France and you can start seeing it also going from uh, the Balkans and Romania into uh, north and into Eastern Europe and Northern Europe. And so through September, you will see suddenly that all of these cases throughout Europe are going up and up and up and up and up and up and up through all of these vectors. And so something interesting that's happening is that at the beginning of October, you can actually tell which countries have had which measures. Spain, Portugal are very infected. France is very infected. In fact, you can actually tell the borders of France through this, right? You can see that even, like you can tell broadly the, the borders of Italy too, and you can definitely tell the borders here of the Czech Republic and even Germany here. You can see Germany because of the borders it has, uh, because it is controlling the virus substantially better than any of its neighbors. Unfortunately, as cases grow throughout Europe, grow, 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 at some point Germany cannot cope with all these cases coming from all its neighbors because Germany doesn't have a fence, doesn't have an ability to control the infections coming in. And so you can still tell that it's doing much better than the rest of the country is, but the infections are starting to go in. By the end of October and the beginning of November, nearly all of Europe is infected. And at this point, most countries are applying a sort of hammer, including Sweden. They applied a hammer in March, April. They didn't do anything during the summer, and now they're forced to apply another hammer because they didn't have a better strategy to control the virus.